Dun, 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 dun. Hello, hello. Um, I should probably not move my mic around when it's... <laughs> I should probably move this before I started streaming here. Hopefully I'm not making too loud of a noise here as I move this around. Um, I don't know, it's a really sensitive mic. Every time I touch it, it gets mad at me, so... <laughs> Hey, Blue Monster, how's it going? Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Another day, right? Good to see you again. Um, boy, it's hot. It is hot. Yesterday it was really, really warm. And um, I was like playing Zelda all day, and so I'm holding like a controller, and my hands started getting like, kind of gross. I had to wash my hands like two or three times last night. <laughs> So I kept uh, a little too hot for my taste. Nice hat? Yeah, thanks. This is my disguise. I put it on every now and then because um, somebody's after me, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, am I set up here? I guess so. I saw the pose of the day here. It's pretty cool. Like leaning on a desk like this. I'm looking forward to it. I like these ones where it's clear that there's some sort of a prop. So that'll be fun to do a little later, but first need to make <coughs> need to do the timed poses. Um, let me just set up my layers here. Okay, so we'll do five 90 second poses first, just as a warm up. I have to remind myself it's just a warm up. <laughs> I'm gonna try and go really quick. See what happens. Um, actually, hang on. Sorry, I'm gonna need to restart. That was a cool pose. I forgot one thing. I just need to move this where I can see it. That way the chat doesn't get covered up. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready. So we'll start in three, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Shouldn't start counting until I'm ready. Um, so this pose, there's like a lot of like arrogance almost with these arms. Not arrogance, but like, you know, he's like, huh, like that's a humph pose. So I want to see if I can emphasize that with some weird, magical, fast lines. I don't know how to do this, you know, gesture drawing, but every now and then I want to give it a shot. Especially on these warm up ones. Only up my hand more than anything. I'm trying to remember how to do this. First one of the day is always, <laughs> always like a, it's doing it for the first time, at least for me. Legs too small. I need to resize. Also too thin. Could be wider. Don't worry about that though. It's the first one of the day. Stop analyzing. Um, this leg is in front. Boom, boom, boom. Now these legs are a little long. <laughs> I didn't have space, now they're too long. It's one way or the other. It's too big one way, too small the other way, you know? Anyway, I'll, here, I'll zoom this one because it's a little too hard to see. Okay, there we go. These low angle ones are really difficult. All the angles that are usually like quite long, like the shoulder line, become really like small. It becomes something like this rather than something like this. When it becomes a low angle like this, that's the thing that I struggle with the most with these, I think. High and low angle ones. Lines that are usually long become really short in like a, a way that I'm not used to. I just need more practice. I don't know if I like how I'm opening up the bottom of the torso here. That's fine. That'll do. So here's the spine. Goes underneath, we'll say. Something like this. 
the line in front. Well, this pinches at the front. Kind of like this. Push the cube there, and then we'll throw a leg up with the bottom of that pelvis there. When I'm using the pelvis, I try to think of the, the bottom of it as like a good place guide for this sort of thing, like the leg is coming up. So I just use the bottom of the pelvis, the bottom of the little construction cube that I create, parallelogram or whatever it's called, trapezoid. I find that's helpful too. So this one, there's angles, right? Shoulder, and then this kind of levels out here. So here's my torso. And then there's a pinch in this corner. So I'll do this with the pelvis. Body's kind of shifting this way. So I'll move the center of mass over just a little to the side. And I'll pinch this corner. There's the center line. So then this. Still thinking because it's this shape, right? So if this is rotated, it's going to be like. It's not going to be this because that's a square. It needs to still hold this shape even as it's rotating. Something like that. It's a little too 2D. It's at a slight angle. But I'm just going to leave it rather flat as if I'm looking at it from directly behind. Because that's easier. Move my shoulders. One down here. Somewhere like that, leg. Could be longer, maybe like to here. This leg is kind of, the knee is hiding about here. Heading this way, thinking of the balance, heads forward, so legs something like that. Good enough, right? Let this pose again. I think this is like a sumo pose or something. I feel like I've seen sumo wrestlers doing this. <laughs> with their arms in the air. I honestly don't know what half of these poses are. But the, a lot of them are really cool. Like you'll notice you'll get the same poses um, from different angles. You know, every couple days, you oh, I, I did that pose a few days ago. <clears throat> and so it's kind of uh, fun revisiting them. Because you get more like, like I have a bit of an insight on what's going on in this pose because I've done it two or three times now. I don't know if I've ever done it from behind like this, though. It's just kind of cool the way this site works like that. Shoom. Legs look a little weird, but that'll do. It's fine. Boing. So the feet. Um, I have a little trick for drawing the feet. I kind of break them up into three parts. Kind of like the ankle, the center part, and then the toe. And that way you can kind of like bend the foot a bit to give it a little more life. So I'll usually draw like a circle for the bottom of the foot as the, what is it, the ankle? And then, um, from there, well, I'll show it a little later. Actually, I'll show after this one, because I want to remind myself how to do feet as well. <laughs> show a little tip on how I do feet. Uh, something like this. And then this kind of comes out, out. My accent is showing. And then up. The blue part is probably around here. It's hard to see because it's not showing on the back, right? Those muscles are only on the front of these models. So I'm just going to guess where the bottom of the torso is. I know there's a space in between the torso and the pelvis. So I can kind of use my knowledge of what's going on to just find the bottom of the torso. It's somewhere around here. It doesn't really matter. Ultimately, all these things, the way I kind of break things down is just to help position things. It's not like those are the final lines, right? 
They're more of an approximation. Think of me, thinking of it as like a mannequin, like building a mannequin out of the pose that I'm seeing. Then if I were to actually take it further, I could, you know, detail the muscles and stuff a little better. This is just a mannequin, more than anything. Wait, and there you go, 90 seconds already done. So just really quickly, since I brought it up, um, I like to do feet like this. So here's my calf. I like to do, let's just do it simple. So like from the bottom of the calf, the ankle here, I like to take a little bit of a cone straight down, basically. So this is kind of like your heel. And then from here, I just kind of do like another triangle that connects like this. Maybe like open a little bit at the edge and then just add a toe. There's my phone ringing. It's probably my food. <laughs> and so that way what you can do is like, if you have a, a leg that's doing this, you can do, this part is generally always flat, right? The heel here. And you can round this off as much as you want. But then you can like bring this forward. So now you've got kind of a stepping forward foot or like in really extreme cases. You know, you can really squish things and like, if I had a better reference of what I was doing here, it kind of make more sense, but it's just an easier way to kind of follow like the natural bend of the foot to break it into three pieces a little bit. Like this part doesn't really bend too much, the center part. But you know, there are times where there's just like the slight amount of a difference that I think doing it like that helps visualize, especially for like simple um, poses like we're doing here. So I'm just gonna take a sip of water and then we'll do three minute poses. Um, are you gonna keep doing these post practice streams after 365? I think so. I think this channel, this is gonna be like the core of this channel. Um, I'd like to keep doing this forever, <laughs> I mean, for the foreseeable future. That's kind of the plan. So even after 365, I might not do as much other drawing on this channel, because I kind of want to learn other things as well, but I think I'll keep going with this post practice. So we'll start three minutes here, we'll do five of them. I'll zoom this one just a smidge. Okay. Here's my torso. It's kind of weirdly lifted. Tum, tum. But yeah, I'd like to keep it going as long as possible. It's really fun as well. I just enjoy doing this. So, and it'll be cool to see after. Um, you know, a long time to see how differently I do this or whatever. Go back and look at my old drawings. Mm -hmm. this, this pose is difficult. This twist in the middle, or this lean back. Um, I don't really know. I'll just kind of do this. That's good enough, just to help me out. Okay, and then... So here's the bottom of my foot. So I'm drawing like that bottom part out. So like here's my heel of a thing. Basically just extending the, the circle that is the bottom of the um, calf and just making it a little bit wider. So like from below it would look kind of like this, you know, like the bottom half of a funnel or the top of a funnel I guess. <laughs> and then here's that split where the foot kind of comes into a different part, and the toes are basically going forward. 
Not a lot of movement on the foot, but it's seems like it's slightly bent forward a bit. I don't know, I can't really tell. To be honest. Let's do an arm, shall we? Speed up. I'm going a little slow today. Let me let it go up here somewhere. Okay. I usually start with the shoulders. I don't know. It just seems like a starting with a consist in a consistent way. I think is helpful. At least for me. I used to start with the head, and it didn't really work out had success since I switched to the shoulders. So I'd maybe recommend trying starting in different places. See if there's like a process that you kind of like. I sort of like starting with the center of mass. Like the torso and the pelvis. And working from there. Because everything kind of connects, you know, to the center. Some way or another. Sure, that'll do. It's a good time to experiment during this sort of a thing. Hey Dorian, how's it going? Good to see you. I'm just on uh, number two of the three minute poses here. Shun. 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 Illustrator taught me to start from the feet. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> so you don't run out of room. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm always resizing things because I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'm not very good at um, keeping it to the frame. That's something I need to work on. This is not that big of a deal, though. Boy, it's hot. I guess it's summer. Well, almost. Gonna draw long today? Nice. I'm doing well, yeah. Thanks for asking. I had a nice sleep last night. It's always good having a nice, good sleep, you know? You wake up and you just feel good. <laughs> it doesn't happen that often for me. I'm usually not that good at sleeping. Um, so this leg. I'm gonna run out of space. I need to shrink it out just a bit. Speaking of running out of space, hey? Um, down here. These legs forward. Forward a bit. Hmm. Well, that'll do. That's okay. Another time, but that's fine. This is a cool pose. Airborne ones I find are kind of difficult though. Sometimes <laughs> it's hard to like plant things, you know. Make sure that things are like how do you say consistently like together in a way that makes sense. I don't know. This one I could sort of see like a good gesture though in it, so I'm gonna kind of do it like this. Give myself some guidelines to start. I'm going to work from here. I don't usually work like this. I messed around with it a little. I don't know if I like it ultimately. In certain um, situations though, I think it's pretty helpful. For the most part though, I like being more methodical, taking my time with stuff. Hey Carlos, how's it going? you're doing good. We're on uh, pose number three. 
of the three minute poses here. Sure. I like the way the the pelvis here is kind of coming toward the camera a bit. So I'm gonna emphasize that. Show more of the underside here. Bring the leg up and out like this. Right? So this leg is this one. I thought it was the one in behind. <laughs> it's the one in front, obviously. And then this leg is behind. But since this side of the pelvis is closer, this leg is going to be higher up the knees. Right? This hip and this hip should like mirror the, the knees. I think. There's my foot. And down here. Uh, my other foot. Adrian, hey. How's it going? Finishing my drawing? Nice. So it's good to finish up. I need to um, finish the animation I've been working on. It's only a, like a, a small one, but um, I'll show it off during the showcase tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> I'm not very, you know, don't hold your breath for something amazing <laughs> or anything. It's just some stick men for the, uh, the weekly prompt. That I did. Here, I'll zoom this one. It's a little too cut off there. This is another cool one that I've got a couple times, I suppose. Hey, I'm doing good, Adrian. How are you? Having a nice, nice day. Yeah. Zoom. Let's do another gesture. Or not gesture, but like, you know, I guess this is gesture, more or less. The spine, you can really see the slight curve of it. It really carries the whole body almost. Maybe like this. And then through here, here are the lights. Something like that. Um, proportionally, it's difficult though, because these legs are heading away from the camera, so they're very small. It's hard to get that to look good. Especially when you're used to drawing them like, not like that. I don't have a lot of experience doing that sort of thing. Coming away or coming toward or going away from the camera like that, it's really hard to get that correct. But I just want to sort of follow this line that I made. And then shoot this leg out somewhere like over here. Expect nothing less than high class bones animation studio. Bones? You had to pick bones of all studios. Couldn't you give me like Dean or like Leiden films or something? <laughs> no offense. Although they've been doing some, uh, not too bad lately, Live at Home. They did, um, what was that show? The one with the vampire. The vampires, I guess. I read a bit of the manga, I didn't really like it. But the, uh, the anime looked really cool. Um, I don't remember the name, though. Call of the Night? Yeah, that's what it is. Doing good, I had ice cream today. <laughs> nice. I haven't had ice cream in a while. Do they still have... I don't know. When I was growing up, there used to be a truck. They drove around, and it would always play the... You know, the same song. The ice cream truck, you know? And it would drive around and like sell ice cream. I haven't seen that lately. Is that like a thing of the past? You'd always know when it's around, because you'd hear this, the music, and all the kids would come running out. It's like a $5 bill to buy some ice cream.
Here's a very simple pose. We have ice cream, ice cream trucks still in England. Okay, maybe it's just uh, where I live. It's been like, I don't know, maybe it's, um, maybe I just haven't really been paying attention. I don't see why they would be gone. Seems like a pretty good job. Drive around, sell ice cream all day. They're foul though, really. <laughs> around here, um, I'm in Canada, by the way. The um, They would always have the same things. You know, they would have like the SpongeBob head ice cream and like the firecrackers or whatever they're called. A lot of them just kind of tasted like water, you know? Like they're really cheap ice creams, but and they would have like gumballs for the eyes, stuff like that. But every now and then they would have like a, I remember there being like, I don't know, maybe it was like a limited time only thing or something. Like one year they would have something they didn't have last year and it would actually be good. We still have a dude riding a cycle selling ice candy. Huh. Mostly the parlors are hype or the hype. Yeah, I guess so. There's a couple of good ice cream, ice cream. Um, I guess you wouldn't call them restaurants, <laughs> ice cream shops around where I live. I live kind of near the beach. There's a lot of good ice cream down at the beach, like really good ice cream, you know, a few places that have been around since I was a kid. Super good, high quality, good ice cream. <laughs> a lot better than the ice cream truck. I'm doing this one really, I don't know, poses like this give me trouble. The ones that I find I, um, I do better with more dynamic ones. When they're really simple like this, it's just hard for me to bring things together in like a, you know, a, a way that I feel is like competent. They always just look a little too blocky, too boring. Not too bad. Another thing to keep in mind is the space in between the legs. I have the habit of doing this with my legs and like just completely cutting that off. It's more important in certain poses, I think, than others, but that's one thing I always try and keep in mind. I'm not sticking my legs too close together. Put his head up here. Wait. There you go, sir. And there you go. Three minute poses done. Already. Let's go by so quick. Quick stretch break. And then we'll do five five minute poses. And then we'll wind up the day with the pose of the day. Mm -mm. So the ice cream trucks here, they sell an ice cream that kind of looks like this. And it has like two swirls, we'll say. Like one is blue and one is red. This is not the best example, but it kind of looks like this. And then there's like white in the middle, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while. But um, they were like the most popular kind. They're just on a stick like this. I don't know if they still have them. But this would be like red. You know, and then the other would be blue in the middle. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called firecrackers, but they taste like water. The blue part tastes like water. The red part tastes like water. Twister? Maybe that's what it is, yeah. It just tastes like water. <laughs> and all the kids love them. You could probably give a kid just an ice cube if it's blue to tell them it's, you know, <laughs> a blueberry flavor and they'll love it. Strawberry, vanilla, yeah. Something like that. Anyway. I'll do five minute poses here. Mm -hmm. So starting in three, two, one. Oh, I guess there's a countdown right there, hey? Eh? Oh, well, I may as well count it down too. Twisties, yes, yeah, it's something like that. Makes me wonder what the firecracker is, because I know there was another one called firecracker. And they were always, all, the, all these like old popsicles, they're all just like, why am I starting with the arm? <laughs> They're all um, red, white, and blue. 
I wonder what the flavors are. Red is usually like cherry, I think, when it comes to like flavors of like candy and stuff, or maybe strawberry. I don't know what the white flavor is. That's always the one that confused me. <laughs> I remember always being confused with that, with that, even when I was a kid, when I was younger. Like, what is with white flavor? And people would say it's like soda flavor or like cream soda or something, but I mean, I guess sometimes. It probably varies. It's not like everything white flavored is the same flavor. Yeah, this week's prompt is really tough. <laughs> I don't know if I like um, the pose that I picked. Although I kind of just randomed it, you know? Remember that? <laughs> I was so unprepared. I was like, oh no, I need to think of something. So I just picked a random pose. What do you think? Should we do a, a pose again for our next week's prompt? Or do you want to go back to like a word or any other ideas? You could do like one more pose and I'll pick one that's like, you know, more. Um, interesting or more less um because i feel like this pose of the week was kind of or this weekly prompt was a little too like you couldn't really do is um how do i want to say this I felt like you could only draw it like a few ways you know i want to do one that's a little more universal in general where do I find the prompts? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, hey. It's something we just started, so I'm still kind of like figuring it out, but it's, it should be on the Discord. Um, I also do, I, what I do is um, every week on this channel, I do like a quick review of kind of what I've been up to over the last week, what I drew and like what I've learned and stuff like that. And then um, I also announce like a, um, a prompt. I think we're only on like week three now. Just like a quick, um, prompt for everybody to draw and then uh, if you like you can post it in the discord in like a special channel and then I'll showcase it on stream on Mondays um, just to kind of show what people are doing as well or you could just you know you don't have to post it in the showcase channel if you want if you don't want to me to show it but it's just, it's basically just a uh, weekly prompt, you know, to just to get the mind flowing, brain flowing, whatever the term is. <laughs> we started out doing words, like I think the first one was rain, and then the week after that was reflection. And then for this week, the one we're currently doing, which is going to end tomorrow, um, instead of doing a word, I picked a pose from Pose Maniacs, and it was kind of a weird pose. It's like somebody falling, so it's a little hard to um, to do. I'm having trouble with it. I'm still not done mine. I need to get working on that. But yeah, it's all in the Discord. Um, I also So on Mondays I'll do like a week in review thing and then I, I kind of cut it up into a YouTube video. Just like a quick kind of recap of the last, you know, 10 minutes of me talking about what I was up to in the showcase stuff. You can also find the, the new prompt there. And if we get enough submissions, like I think this week we have more. I don't, can't remember to be honest, but I might make it into its own video. Like, um, instead of having it as part of my weekend review thing. We'll see. I'm still trying to, you know, figure out what I'm doing on this channel, to be honest. So, <laughs> this arm is tough. So that way you don't have to sit through me rambling for 20 minutes about, you know, what I've been up to. If you just want to know what the prompt is, <laughs> you know, so... But it's always in the Discord, yeah. Just barely finished that one in time. These five minute ones are, I feel like I'm either really early or just on time. Like sometimes I'll finish them with what feels like a minute left and I'm like, okay, what do, what do I do now? <laughs> um, look at this twist in the torso. 
can't see the spine at any point, but you can only see the front half kind of around here. Not all the way down, like you can't see the belly button, for example. So I'm going to pinch the pelvis together here and then to kind of hide that. That's how I'll do it. Um, okay, now this is to come up a little. Shoulder up. Shoulder's kind of pulling the a bit of the torso over. I think the shoulder is separate from the torso as well, it's kind of like this. So that these, these things like that are the shoulder, right? They could move in or they could be like up and you can kind of like connect them to the body like this rather than having them as like part of this and having the arms coming directly out I like to have a little movable thing that can kind of shift around as the arm does so. I'm trying to, these lines I'm doing here, you can kind of see where they, it's like the same motion that, um, that is like, what do you say? It's the same motion of kind of swinging forward, because it looks like an ice skating pose, right? It's not like the arms are independent of the legs in this one. So you can kind of carry the motion of this arm down through this leg and like swing it around for the other arm. If you think of like swinging your arms back and forth like this, um, the way you kind of think of your arms as one, at least I do, like lock your arms and then swing them side to side as if they're one, kind of helps bring some unity to the pose, especially if there's something like this. Like these dynamic poses, it's easier to find that unity sometimes. And again, this line basically that runs from the back goes all the way down this leg. You can keep it one line all the way to the bottom of the thigh. Merging lines like that where you can is another thing I like to keep in mind, you know? Wait. This calf wound up a little weird, but that's fine. The neck. Necks are difficult. Hmm. We've got a lot of lines going on here. It's hard to tell what is what anymore. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, you know, whatever, throw in a hand here, finish this arm. Man, it's hot today. Yesterday was really hot too. It's kind of getting hotter in the... Like I know it's it's hot when it's also hot at night. You know, like after the sun goes down. Before bed and it's still hot. <laughs> That's when I know summer's coming. Which I'm kind of ready for. It's been cold for too long. I'm a little too used to the cold, I think. Give me some warmth. As long as it doesn't hit 40 degrees again. <laughs> I think it did a few years ago. That was nuts. So I think this angle I did a little too steep. It does kind of curve a bit more. So it would be something like this instead. As the body's leaning forward. But that's fine. Sitting pose. So let's draw floor, why not? It's like ever so slightly like this. I 
Um, let's do a simple pelvis. Let's start from there. Okay, up, spine. I don't usually work backwards like this. You can see the spine going all the way up in this one, all the way to the neck, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Oh yeah, same thing I pencil. I always forget. <laughs> Every time. Whenever I start, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll leave it on the mouse. And then um, when I start, I'll switch to the pencil, and I never do. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but... Hmm, I want this to be leaned back a little more, like this. Uh, hmm, sure, that'll do. Not ideal, but... It's kind of difficult. This pose has all the posture I will never have. Yeah, right? Look at that straight back. Meanwhile, I'm here hunched forward like a goblin. Um, a little steeper, like that. The knee here kind of reaches. Um, so I've got the torso too tall then. Kind of reaches the bottom. Of the, or kind of like the center of the torso, where the knee is. Whatever, that'll work. So my knee is kind of about here, we'll say. And then, so that's one thing, right? You can find like points of comparison like that. Basically anywhere, anywhere you look, you can find them. Like this elbow and this heel are basically on the same ver vertical plane. All sorts of ways that you can just find any little hints to help you find out where something should be. And you can use them all, right? I'll put this heel down here. So the other leg is, or the uh, the rest of the leg is kind of hidden. So here's my foot. This looks a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> Making that good on the mouse is impossible. Yeah, at least for me. I've heard of uh, an artist who uses the mouse. He has like different mice, mouses, calibrated for like different sort of things that he does. I can't remember his name. He might be a legend to be honest, because that sounds crazy. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to do that. Maybe you've just been drawing with a mouse for so long. Um, okay. Yeah, I've lost the, the neck here again, right? See how there's no space between my chin and my shoulder? Maybe what I'll do is I'll just scoot this down because I'm going to have space. I'll do this neck here, kind of like where the ear is, and then I'll force myself to have that space. There you go, that kind of works. Heads are really difficult. I'm going to work on them next week. That's not too bad though. Uh, all right, this is going to be me in about six hours. Um. 
Where do I even begin? <laughs> okay, I'll start with the shoulders. That's what I usually do. Upside down poses and like um, stuff like this is it's weird how difficult it is in like a a weird way, especially the upside down ones. Um, but ones where it's not vertical, you know, most of the stuff we draw here is like somewhat standing upright. As soon as there's anything like this going on, it's, it really kind of messes with my brain. Yeah, that is posture, right? <laughs> Sleeping posture, maybe. We got any stomach sleepers in here? <laughs> I sleep on my stomach quite a lot. I've heard it's really bad for your back. Because you're like sleeping all night with like twist in your neck because usually you got to turn your head to the side right so this part is like twisting all night I don't know it's so comfy though I can't resist maybe that's why my neck is so messed up <laughs> my neck is still kind of sore I woke up like last week with just a sore neck randomly and it was hurting me for like three or four days it's still not even uh, not fully back to normal Maybe I should go to one of those people who snap your spine and twist you around like a pretzel. I don't know, I've been to some of them in the past. Chiropractor? That's what it's called. It doesn't really seem to do anything. <laughs> I've never noticed any change after going to them. Except for the hundred dollars that flew out of my wallet. I don't know, anytime you go to somebody who says they're gonna like fix you and you gotta sign a waiver that says uh, if I die it's not your fault. <laughs> it's probably um, not the best. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a little weird that you have to sign that waiver. Is that regular? Or was I just going to a really unqualified chiropractor? <laughs> uh, it's kind of creepy now that I think about it. I'm just going to say he was the world's best and everything was totally fine. I was under no risk. Wait, it's been a while since I've been to a chiropractor. Hope you recover soon. Yeah, thanks. I'm definitely getting better, so. I think I just, you know, slept on it funny. That happens every now and then, right? Happens with like my shoulder every now and then. Cause I, I lie sort of on my side and like shove my shoulder forward. Sometimes when I sleep, it's a little hard to explain, but kind of a similar thing where I just wake up and like, oh, Guess my shoulder's hurting today. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe that's what it means. Probably a little bit of both. Yeah, look at this leg, hey? It doesn't look right. I'm gonna redo it. I'm running out of time here, too. Maybe I'll just do the arms. Um, this one's difficult. Stuff like this I've never really had a lot of confidence in. I'm okay with it being ugly anyway, but great solution is denial, yeah, right? You know what the cool thing is? That solves pretty much all of your problems. <laughs> A good heaping helping of denial kind of works with everything. Oh, my neck hurts. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm fine. And there you go. Look at that. I'm back to normal. <laughs> Doctor? Nah. Just give it some denial. Um, yeah, hard to do legs underneath from underneath like this, right? I'm struggling here. Wait. But at least it looks like a human and not like a dog or something. It can always be worse. That's like rule one around here. It can always be worse. <laughs> Done is better than perfect. Right? Okay. Here's another cool one. I can rest when I'm dead. 
Till then I'm on the grind, yeah. I like that attitude. Although I do like resting. <laughs> Maybe like a little bit of both. <laughs> if I can find out how to rest while grinding, I think that's the key. Part of it is, um, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm on the grind here. I'm doing this every day, right? But I'm having fun with it. So it's kind of like rest in a way. Oi. Oi. And then my pelvis right here. Tum. 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 I guess that works. You can see I'm going to finish this one early here. Like I said, some of these I do uh, quick. Some of them I just barely finish. But I'm, I think I'm at a good point now where I'm not failing to finish, especially the five minute ones. I'm still struggling to finish a lot of 90 second ones, but these longer ones I'm at least finishing, which is kind of cool. Because I usually work really slow historically, so. Simultaneously resting, dying, and on the grind at the same time. <laughs> Jeez. Sounds like a lot of work. I don't know, Adrian. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. A, uh, a truck just drove by my window. Like a big, big red truck. And the sun, like, bounced off the red and shined, like, made my whole room red for a second there. I was like, what is going on? Alien invasion? Look at the window, it's just like a truck. That foot's a little big, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Make this calf a little bigger. Make this whole thigh a little bigger, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. Here's my foot. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Resting can be so stressful. Can't tell if we've got this lean right. Oh well, it'll do. I think I want to make the torso a little taller though. Maybe up to here instead. And then a little more like this. Looks good to me. Add the booba. Um, armpit here. It's a little too short. Maybe like to here. Now, arms and legs are like, they really give me trouble. It's hard to think of how a cylinder would, you know, rotate like that, because they're fundamentally just cylinders. I'm not very good at rotating them around. Again, that's another thing I want to work on this week, coming up. It's the plan, at least. We'll get started on working in, on that. Focusing on that specifically. Lately, I haven't really been focusing on anything. I was focusing on kind of low and high angle stuff. And I guess I sort of still am. Thinking about like how that, you know, like a basic perspective of that sort of a thing. Foreshortening, I think it's called. <clears throat> but um, I need to focus on like the head as I draw a head here. And then arms and legs, I think. Those are the things that are jumping out at me lately as priorities, we'll say. Here I am again, just barely finishing. Kind of a weird alien head, but whatever, <laughs> that'll do. And there you go, time for the pose of the day.
I always do them female because um, the male models are kind of difficult for me at this point. I don't draw a lot of like muscly guys. So for the time being, I might alternate going forward, but for the time being, I'm just going to do them all female. Also, the female form is just more interesting, to be honest. Um, I don't know what angle to choose. Maybe something like this. Usually what I look for when I'm deciding an angle for this is like negative space. So like how there's space in between the legs here. Um, and between the arms. And like even this little triangle that comes between the hand and the leg here. I think that's pretty interesting. Even something like this, right? The more there is, you get these kind of fangs that are going in. And um, on Pose Maniacs, you can actually go here and switch to negative space. Whoa. And then it freaks out. Sorry if you have epilepsy or anything there. Let me turn this off. Quit it. Stop. <laughs> seizure. Everybody's having a seizure. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I look for. I think I want to do like this angle. And then basically like this. I think that's good. There are other cool settings in here, by the way, like the bounding box. Basically gives you the extent at all sides. So you can find the furthest forward point on every side. It's like the pinkies on the side. Back foot here. It's really kind of cool. Lots of stuff to mess around with. I like the way the eye is sort of looking up a little too. We'll do it like that though. More interesting, I agree, yeah. Yeah, more curves. It's it's more um like the male models here are very like rectangular almost. They're kind of like angular. They're a little too um I don't know, just kind of boring. <laughs> anyway. Perfect the way nature intended, yeah, basically. Let me just take a quick sip of water here. But these ones, um, you can get started if you like. There's no timed um, section to these. I just kind of keep going until I feel like I'm done. Mm -mm. Oh, good way to wrap up the day. <clears throat> no rush or anything like that. So, how do I want to start this? I could start with the head. I don't usually do that, though. Let me just do the shoulders. When in doubt, do what you know, I guess. Yeah, I can kind of go like this and take it up to the head. Work from there. Here's my jaw. I'm just following the outer contour of the body right now. Not worrying about construction or anything like that. I'm trying to find a general proportion to work with. So once I get this head down, So now I can sort of use this as like a size guide for everything else, right? If the head is this big, then you know, everything else has to kind of match this size. So it's good to think about that too, I think. When in doubt, shoulder your way out. That's kind of how I do it, hey? But if you give yourself a good starting point, because everything is related to each other in one in some way or another, right? So now that I have this, right, I can the torso is basically like would be I'm kinda have to resize this then. But it's gonna be about this size, seemingly. That seems about right to me. Judging by the size of that skull there. Maybe a little longer. That'll do. Center line would be like this. And the 
this arm here. I don't want to do the full arm yet, I just want to kind of block this in. And I'll even do this one as well. So the shoulders are, or sorry, the elbows, they're on the same plane, right? Because the hands are on the same table. So the arms, looking at it from the front, you know, they're both going to be like this. The elbows, shoulders, and hands are all going to be more or less the same horizontal plane, you know, if you're drawing a cross like this. And then it, it'll get slightly steeper as you go down because of the eye level, I think. Like I said, perspective is something I struggle with, but I think I know the gist of it, and that makes sense to me, <laughs> more or less. So this hand would be like here, right? Like you can see how it's kind of like this, but then the elbows are like that, and then the shoulders are like this. That's because our eye level is closer to the shoulders. It's about here. You can see where the the floor kind of fades away around the shoulders in the background. That would be our eye level. I'm not 100% sure how to use it in all situations, but I know it's helpful. It's something I want to pay attention to in the future. Eye level and perspective stuff. Oh, a good old punch. <laughs> Will do just fine, yeah. Slap me up beside the head. Here's the center line running down. Underneath. And then up to the spine, which isn't really that helpful, but it's going to flare out a bit in the back. So there's our bifurcation through the middle. So we can use that to kind of place this pelvis. Like this, and then it would go around there and down like this. It's a little big, a little big. I'm going to bring this in a bit. Cross like that. And then in, leg would be somewhere like this. Yeah, I'll need to resize this. Usually when I resize things, um, I'll keep drawing it like the same size as I was originally. So now that I've resized this, I need to make sure I don't do my legs too big. I need to work with this size. You know, this whole time I've been working as if it was like this, but now I've shrunk it, so I need to kind of refit my brain, shrink everything a little bit. That's something I, I noticed that I do. I'm kind of locked in the same size mindset and then if I resize to do the legs the legs will come out huge right <laughs> something I need to pay attention to a little more and then this leg is stepping 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 over toward let's say it's from like here Word. So here's the knee. Back would be like that. Back of the leg. So it's coming in front. This leg is heading away. Like that. Just kind of looking at the angle, right? Ankle here, ankle here. That's really all I'm doing. And you can see this going like that. Just angles. Just really um, what I look at. In general, what angle is the ankle? What angle is this foot jutting out at, you know? Um, this should be down a little further, maybe like this. Oh, looks a little weird, but looks like a foot at least, so there's that. These hands I'm noticing are coming down a little further, right? They reach around here on the reference, which tells me I think I might have done them a little too small. And you can see the elbow also kind of reaches the belly button, which would be around here. So I'm going to extend this arm a little bit, shoot it down to, it's also coming kind of toward the camera, right? So you'll make it a little bigger. 
like this. And then from here, move it down like that. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna redo this arm actually. It's more vertical. I have it coming like this, it's more like this, the upper arm here. And then kind of in, and then it goes forward like that. Just down to here-ish. And flat on the table. Other arm, basically mirroring this arm in the distance a little. It's reaching kind of about the crotch area around here. And there you go. We finish this foot down here, and that's it. This foot is actually doing a, something really cool. The way it's kind of angled like that, there's a lot of character in this foot. It's kind of essential for the overall feel of the pose, I think. There's a lot of life in the wood, in what this foot is doing down here. I'm going to kind of lift the toes a little in the front. And there you go. Not too bad. Um, I'll just clear up some of these lines. Connect. Parts that I left unconnected. Maybe bring this leg in a bit. Um, well, whatever, that'll do. And then in the front as well. Um, anything else I'm missing? I guess not. In that case, I think we'll call it there. And there you go. Just gave mine two left hands, yeah. <laughs> Every time I draw a hand, I think like, okay, where's the thumb? How many fingers? I've done six fingers on stream once, that was good. So let me um, hit this button, go over here, and then over there. I should probably move, move myself around before I start the stream, but anyway, there we go. See how we did. Um, okay, and then it's time for you to eat, eat lunch. Got a clubhouse sandwich waiting for me. Yummy. Every time I um, hear like a clubhouse sandwich or something like that, I always think of um, this comedian Mitch Hedberg. He's got a great bit on clubhouse sandwich that I'm always tempted to butcher. <laughs> Cause he's got like a very peculiar way of talking. He's a funny comedian, like one liner, non, -so non sequitur humor, not like stories. I'm not a fan of comedians who like tell stories. I don't know. They're all kind of the same. They're also vulgar, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm a prude. I like the comedians like Mitch Hedberg and like, uh, Stephen Wright more than anything. got hired at the fire hydrant factory the other day couldn't park anywhere near the place you know that kind of humor old school like Rodney Dangerfield I guess as well join discord by the way nice welcome happy to have you the more the merrier hey eh? <laughs> My drawing for the prompt is a guy that crashed his boat and is not falling down the lake. That sounds like fun. 
<laughs> it's really fun just th seeing what people come up with, right? That's more than more than anything. Um, with doing the weekly prompt, I'm like, I'm excited to see what people are doing, right? Because everybody does such different things. It's really cool. The way everybody's mind works differently, you know. <laughs> I need to finish mine. I'll probably do that while I'm. I'm almost done. It's not like it's going to be too detailed or anything, but it's really hard making um doing like a brief animation, making like the the frames fit together. I've been having fun just kind of fiddling with it in my off time. Um, we can go up here. Actually, no, you can go, yeah, you can go up here. I feel like I might run out of space today at this rate. What's blue and not very heavy? I don't know that one. Blue and not very heavy. Hmm. I don't know. What's blue and not very heavy? What is it? Uh, we can go up here. No. This guy's got a weird pose. You're going to go down here and I'm going to put you somewhere later. This one was too, or uh, not too bad. I almost said too bad, but <laughs> sometimes speaking is hard. Light blue. <laughs> oh God, how did I not see it coming? Wow, wow. <laughs> I guess so. You know what? You're not wrong. But are you right? That's the question. There's a difference between not wrong and right. And then there's so right. Man, all these dudes in their hands tickling each other's armpits. Which one are you? You're this guy. You're giving me so many problems. Let me just shrink you a little. Go up here. This one was pretty good. Ice skating lady. I feel like we've got a lot of ice skating poses lately. Go in there. <laughs> Dies internally. another good joke. I'm trying to remember more about um, like more of the jokes I like. Like quick ones like that. Hmm. This one was difficult. Look at how big the legs are, right? That's another thing I consistently do is make legs too big. Yeah, my stomach is making lots of noise. Go down there. Oops. Might barely have enough space. You can go here. Now hopefully you fit down in there. I like this pose of the day. It's kind of a nice pose. You can go here. Not so big. And there you go. Another day down. Easy. No problem. Really quickly though, I want to look at my day one again. Every now and then I like bringing this up. Here's my day one. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, that's Wayne Gritsky said that, I think, right? That's a good one. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's crazy how sketchy and like scratchy I was starting out. I'm trying to remember which one. I think this one was the pose of the day. And I took like 15 minutes on it. I remember I spent a long time. But some of these are really not too bad. I was basically just doing the contour though. Like I wasn't thinking about construction at all. 
Not a whole lot at least, trying to break them down. It's a pretty big improvement though, hey. Just over a couple months. Anyway, uh, let's watch the time lapse as well and then we'll call it a day. When was the last time you cleaned your drawing tablet? <laughs> I um, I have like a cloth that I cover it with when I'm not using it. Um, but in terms of like giving it a good clean, maybe like a week, I've only done it twice. So it's not like I do it often. You just caught me at a, at a nice time. But I try and keep it clean. Like when I'm not using it, I try and make sure it doesn't get dirty. But when it's getting hot, um, I don't know, I feel like it's going to get dirtier in the summer. <laughs> How do you clean it, by the way? Do you just, I guess you can't really use water, right? Do you need like a special sort of cloth? Maybe I'll look that up. I've heard like rubbing alcohol, but I don't know about that. <laughs> is, that is that right? I don't want to like do anything that might damage it, you know? So I'll have to, maybe I'll look at the official website and see what they suggest. I didn't say that quote, Albert Einstein. I like it when they people just like make some random statement and then just attribute it to someone like, oh, here's my popsicle. <laughs> well, there was a good one. It was like, it was an Albert Einstein quote, but it was like, he was talking about basketball. I can't remember what it was. Like they probably took like a, a quote from like Kobe Bryant or something and attributed it to Albert Einstein. It made me laugh. One of those things where it's just like a picture of them and it has the quote, you know? It caught me off guard. Stupid memesters. Always catching me off guard. Zoinks, Scoobs. Is Scooby Doo still on? I think they like, did they reboot it? Or no, that was that Velma thing, that's right. We don't talk about Velma here. <laughs> I didn't watch it, to be honest. I don't think anybody watched it. I think the only people who watched that show are the people who. Like, that feels like one of those shows where they made it hoping that people would hate watch it, you know? And then so they could be like, oh, these people are so mean to me. Like, why would you make a show that's so, like, overtly, like, rude? <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand modern Hollywood. Although Scooby-Doo is kind of like... I remember I watched it when I was growing up. It's not very... <laughs> Like, why would you want to reboot that? It's like a monster of the week sort of a thing. You could just, there's enough episodes, right? You could just redo the old episodes. That would be kind of cool. How would they do that instead of like remaking and like rewriting things? Just like do the same episodes, but like with a twist and like modern higher budget animation or something. That might be cool. Sad part is that the animation is okay overall. Yeah, that's something I noticed like these days with like games and movies and stuff. If the story sucks, like it's always the problem, the problem is always with the story, you know? But like the art is always really good in like games, animation and stuff. There might be some like bugs and stuff, but the art is always really nice. Makes me wonder just, um, you know, why they, why they don't hire some good writers as well. Albert Einstein hearing something about Kobe, yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I feel bad for the animators, yeah. That's one of the ones where you're just like, whatever, I'll I'll use this as practice. I mean I say all this without having seen it at all. Who knows? Maybe it is a good show. Maybe nobody watched it and it's all just <laughs> you know, five people saying it's bad when it's actually okay. Who knows? I'm not going to watch it either way. <laughs> I have no no desire to watch that. Anyway. Albert Einstein died in 1955, yeah. <laughs> it was a joke, all right? It's not like a real quote. I'll eat that apple for a snack. Isaac Newton. <laughs> he probably said that. I mean, let's be honest. He's the guy with the apple fell on his head, right? Who invented gravity? 
I don't know who anyone is anymore. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for me here today. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, some more pose practice, and we'll go over the showcase. So um, if you want to work on that, when there's only a little bit of time left, 24 hours or whatever, if you want to get a submission in. Um, aside from that, I need to work on mine. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> I need to get my submission in. Yeah, sausage fingers, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay is the best. My favorite thing is his YouTube thumbnails on his channel. They're so ridiculous. I like the titles of the videos. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna quit rambling here and call it call it a day. So thanks again for watching, and uh, catch you guys next time, eh?